The following video contains a simple set of instructions for the upgrade of an operating system from Microsoft. Skipping or not following the steps mentioned in the video may cause harm to the device. Viewers are advised to follow the instructions mentioned or channel will not be held responsible for the damage or harm. Windows 7 support is ending, so it is time to upgrade. What you see over here is my laptop made with HP and it is running a genuine license key and has the basic requirement for Windows 7 and that is also sufficient for Windows 10. Well, this is going to be a fairly large process so the laptop users are advised to plug in their power adapters and the desktop users can continue. So the very first thing we are going to do is to download a tool called Media Creation Tool from Microsoft's website for which the link has been given in the description down below. The tool is quite small in size, but it may take a minute or two to download but needs to be done once the download has completed. At this moment, we will not need any other application so you can close any other application if they are running. I will be making another video for the users who are running Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and that can be accessed from the i button over here once the video is ready. Once the dialog box is opened, we will have to accept the terms and conditions. Here we see two options. The first one is quite easy and does not require any other thing other than the internet. And it is only going to work for a single PC. It is the easiest one you can see in the options below or you can choose based upon your needs. But since we are performing a clean install of Windows 10, we will select the other option. In the next option, we are not going to change anything as we are not using 32-bit operating systems anymore. We will only uncheck this box because we are going to use this Windows operating system for different PCs as well. Here, we will need a pen drive at least of 8GB of storage and since DVDs are getting out of trend anyways, Make sure to have a backup of the data of the pen drive as it will be lost in the process. Make sure the USB ports of the laptop and the pen drive are not rusted or that might be causing another issue. The download time is heavily dependent on the speed of your internet connection. So if you have an internet connection like mine, then you can go on with your girlfriend for a movie or a dinner date or just play PUBG from the mobile data. I have increased the process speed so that you don't have to wait for long while watching this. Post the download, the setup will verify the package downloaded for any missing data. Then this will be written on your pen drive to make it a bootable pen drive. This will depend upon the read and write speed of your USB. The USB 3.0 will give you a better speed than the USB 2.0. Make sure to check the blue ports of the USB 3.0. Once the bootable pen drive is ready, we can close the application which will clean the temporary files. Safely eject the USB and then shut down the system. Now we can begin with the installation part. Start the system once again and click on the BIOS settings to change the boot order. You can check the internet to how to access the BIOS of your system. You can save the settings over here. Or you can select the direct boot option from the function 9 key or F9 key and select the removable drive over there. On the successful loading, you will see a squarish logo of Windows followed by these options. You can select them as per your wish or keep them as they are. Now click on the install now button. The next windows will ask you to provide a product key which I will not be entering here at the moment. I will tell you why at the end of the video. Remember, if you have used the upgrade dates PC option, you will not be needing to provide a key anytime. You can select the home or pro version as the system in India were shipped with these two only. Or you use the specific option if you have the key for the said version. I will select home. As I am aware that I was using Windows 7 home version, accept the terms and conditions once again. Here we will select the custom install for our clean install. I will be deleting the drives and recreate them 
to safeguard from viruses from the older operating system. The following process may take 20 to 40 minutes based upon the CPU and the speed of your internal storage drive. Once prompted to restart, click on the restart button. Make sure to remove your pen drive unless you have selected the function 9 key to boot otherwise we will start again with the region and the keyword option. Here you can see the process moving ahead and then you will be greeted by the annoying Cortana the digital assistant from Windows. I'm going to shut her up with this button over here. Select the region once again and then choose the keyboard layout. Just like the Google account and Apple ID to access features, Microsoft has also implemented this. So you can create one but I'm going to use this system on a local account so I will select the offline account. Select no once again for not going with Microsoft account. Give your PC a name. I am going to put user over here which I can change later on. Password is not needed but you can keep one if you want it. Say no to Cortana once again and since Microsoft do spy on you under the label of providing you extra services. You can carefully uncheck the below options if you do not want them to. On a successful install, you will be greeted like this. Do you see that pop up? Windows is looking for the graphic driver. And hey, the display became clearer with the driver installation. Now let's check our system. There's a notification at the bottom that the window is not activated. Not all the time you will see this as the windows will get activated automatically with the device ID. But no activation means that you will not be able to customize the wallpaper or the color scheme of the system. So let's activate it. Select the change product key option. You can locate the key from the bottom of your laptop or desktop from the sticker like this one. I have entered the key and blurred it for obvious reasons. The key will be scanned with the servers and additional download may be required if you have not selected the correct version of Windows like we did on the start. Click on activate. And now you have a successfully activated free copy of Windows 10. And now you can go ahead and customize the wallpapers and the color schemes. Drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have faced any issue in this installation process, then please let me know in the comment section and do contact me on the social media. Do not forget to share this with your friends and I will see you in the next one.